What's up everybody? Are you looking for a webcam with decent quality but you're under budget and all of these other webcams that you find are very overpriced and you can't afford a mirrorless camera or a DSLR camera that you could use as a webcam? Look no further because you came to the right place. I'm going to show you how to use your smartphone as a webcam and it's actually pretty awesome. It's actually how I started doing content in general with videos on YouTube. I started recording straight off my phone with no mics, with no lights, nothing. Just like that, just straight off my phone. And also streaming. I started streaming on Twitch with just my cell phone and a $5 webcam that I had gotten. So I had two ca cameras in the beginning of my streams. Another disclaimer is just that this app does work on both Android and iOS devices. I have only tested it on iOS like once or twice and yes it does have a pro version and the pro version has some extra features but if you're just trying to get a decent quality webcam then this is definitely more than necessary for your Zoom meetings, for your Discord calls, for even um, OBS live streaming of course. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why you clicked on this video. If you're trying to get a decent webcam, you probably want to live stream with it. Now let's get into it. Let's look at the Droid Cam application. I'm going to be screen recording. I'm going to show you the droid cam. Now, as you can see, I'm using the droid cam outside of OBS right now. And uh, you can see a bunch of different stuff because I have it at a different angle. And that's totally fine. But as you can see, the quality on it is pretty good. This is a really good camera for just a smartphone. This is going straight off the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. It's not your latest device and it's still very decent. This is how I started. It tells you how much battery life you have and you can do just audio. You can use it as a microphone. You can connect this via USB and also create a private server. And I, I let's pretend like I've never had the uh, application before. So we're just gonna look up Droid Cam and um, if you want, you have to install it as an application on your PC and also on your Android or, or iOS device. So right now I'm just gonna search up uh, DroidCam PC and we click on the Windows dev47apps.com is the one you want you want to go to. This is the one that you're gonna want to download and install into your PC. It's on dev47 apps and essentially this, this is just gonna uh, install it onto your PC and whatever you want to find it for the APK file, of course you can find it that way, but uh, you essentially would just install it directly into your smart device. So whenever you install it into your smart device, you'll have a menu and it will give you your IP address. And your IP address is specific to every device that you're using. And I'm not going to show my IP address on here because that would be ridiculous. But essentially, you just put that IP address that it does show on, on the screen through the application there. And then open up the DroidCam client right off of your PC here. So let's go back to here to the, my desktop. You're going to want to connect it either via Wi-Fi, USB, or create a Wi-Fi server. And as you can see, I put my IP for my device here. You have a port right here, which is gonna be your code that you use basically. So right off of your phone, uh, you'll get a code, which is the port code, and you can connect the device that way. And then you get an option for either audio or video. Let's go ahead and start it. And this is your preview right here. So this is how the droid cam looks. Back to OBS here. Let's just enable it and boom, we have it here in OBS. And th this is pretty sick because, I mean, for the, those of you who want an extra angle or you just want, you know, like, <laughs> this is so awesome. I, I, I don't know why people stream without a webcam. 
if they can easily just use their smartphone there's several other ways to do it like the usb option but this way is just super sick uh, i can't believe that it's available to the public you know just like that I, and it's free it's completely free you can pay for the pro version i i didn't do it so this is nothing special here this is something that you can get for absolutely free without having to pay anything extra again uh, th this is easily used with OBS for uh, streaming so for instance like let's just put my overlay back on here and as you can see I got my overlay back on but whatever you use it for live streaming uh, you could essentially be playing any game you want screen recording like I am right now I'm actually recording this with OBS you can use it for your Zoom calls, you can use it for Discord, for video chat. This essentially is just a camera source and it's a webcam and it's pretty sick. An another thing I'd like to add on to this is that I heard um, some people say that the support for iOS wasn't that great, but I don't, I, ha I hadn't seen any issues with it whenever I was using it with iOS. I, I think it it's uh, pretty good, It's it's pretty great. <laughs> so let, let's go back to my desktop here yeah so here is a pop out preview you can choose to pop out the preview there so like there it is it's pretty instant like w which is what i like about it there's very low latency and remember this is connected with wi-fi so essentially i i could just grab this right here and um i i could take this with me if i wanted to I could literally just like leave and be outside and just have my webcam running like that. I, I'm not too sure if there's audio for it. Let's see if there's an audio source for this. Um, let's go back here and here you can see me recording with it. And as you can see, there's an ad there because I don't have the pro version just to show the droid cam uh, webcam there if you want to use this as an audio source uh, uh, <laughs> I'm seeing the connectivity there okay if you want to use this as an audio source you do have to uh, only use it as an audio source so if you did take it outside uh, you would have to make sure that you have some sort of audio um, input there um, wirelessly in order to actually capture your voice there Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to all of my stream viewers. I finally hit affiliate, which is really awesome. Uh, if you're ever interested in hopping into my Twitch streams, I Twitch almost every day. Uh, I'll drop the link down in the description down below and all of my social links so you can follow me on all this social media nonsense Maybe share some memes and of course um, you're more than free and welcome to join the discord Where uh, we chat it up and we ask each other questions so we get a lot of info with each other there And let me disable this droid cam thing really quick Thank you guys so much for watching these videos uh, Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and uh, if you want to learn more about other tech stuff or if you have any questions or suggestions just leave in the comment below or of course any of my social links like I said and well by any means you always have a wonderful day afternoon evening or night it doesn't matter much love to you guys peace